One of the creatures that fascinates me that I've seen in, in some of your filming is the mantis shrimp. I remember a very short encounter at the end of a dive with a mantis shrimp in, in Indonesia off Sulawesi. And we were diving in this very strange habitat which is volcanic. It's called muck diving because it's like diving in gravel, black gravel. And uh, you think nothing's there, but when you get your eye in, there's thousands of creatures amongst that gravel. Because it's like pumice, it, it, it has lots of cavities and places for animals to live. And one of the animals that burrows there is a beautiful creature called the peacock mantis shrimp. So why is this creature so beautifully coloured? And Just to describe it, its, its main body is predominantly blue with flashes of red and it's got yellows and oranges and it's got two massive big blue eyes on stalks. It looks, I suppose, superficially like the shrimps that we know, but it's a much longer body and it, uh, it, almost like a cartoon animal, these little eyes stick up on stalks. And not only that, they look at you. The, the eyes rotate and it's quite clearly got some interest in you because it's just try, it's just analyzing you and if you look very closely at the eye much more going on than you would imagine what um, size is it so it's about um it's about the size of a shoe when i when i first came across it as i say i was uh, near the end of a dive and i thought it was like a colorful rat that had just gone past my feet and I, and then, then it stopped and looked at me, and I looked at it, and we were, <laughs> we, we were both surprised. Those, so those eyes, um, they have a, they have the ability to see in sixteen different colours, maybe like primary colours. It's sometimes difficult to imagine because our senses are so different. But we see with three primary colours. It's thought that they see with sixteen. Uh, a lot of them are in the ultraviolet end of the spectrum. They've been called the most amazing eyes in the animal kingdom. But, you know, why does it need all this? Scientists think that it might be taking some of the work of the brain away and putting it into the eyes so that it can respond quickly to colour changes in its environment, find different prey uh, amongst the coral, and also perhaps to look for mates that have particular colour clues as to whether they're fertile or not. So quite an alien sort of eye, really. Uh, but it impressed on me what amazing life forms there are underwater and how different they are to everything we know on land. John, it's been fascinating. Thank you very much. By the way, if you want to learn more about John's adventures, it's all in his new book, The Whale in the Living Room.